Yo, Strong and Business Sports has a store, shirts, hoodies, everything. It's all on sale until the end of November. Go buy stuff. The highlight of the Washington-Detroit game for me was having a former Pro Bowl corner, Aqib Tlaib, calling the game. Aqib Tlaib is a guy who I, I, I did not see this coming. I did not expect it. He just retired. I loved him. I cannot overstate Aqib Tlaib. Wow, it's a different broadcast. It's not a broadcast you've ever heard before. I love his insight. I love what he has to say. And he's very casual, which I, I think is needed. He's not stuffy. There's not these, a lot of broadcasts, have heard, they have the suit tied. It's boring. It's, it's boring. No, 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 no. When you listen to a game that Aqib Tlaib calls, it's like watching with a friend or watching with someone in a film room and you're dissecting the game. He's more casual. He's less stuffy. He's really smart. He clearly, obviously, Knows what he's talking about. He's got great insight into defenses because he was at the top of the NFL for a long time. He's and and not he's not a quarterback. He's he's really he was a corner, meaning that he has a lot of insight on pass interference calls and little coverage nuance and the way he describes stuff quickly. He's a good teacher, actually. Uh, and Akeem Talib calling the game probably for one of the first times all year got me to turn the volume up in this game. I went, who's this guy? I went, huh. Oh, I like, he's saying he's saying man. He's saying uh. He's more casual. He's not trying to be anything. He's not. He's being himself. I, I keep to leap. Round of applause. I, I'm ranting now, but oh my gosh, I loved listening to a keep to leap call that game. Um, I it got me to even watch the TV copy. Remember, normally I watch the film and or, or either I watch the film or if I have to watch the TV copy, meaning like the the thing people see on TV, I mute the game. Oh, no, 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 I loved it. I, I, I listened to everything to keep believe I had to say. It probably took way too long. Like, usually I, I don't watch kickoffs and stuff that don't, aren't going to matter. I just literally sat back for three hours and I listened to everything. I was in, in a happy, like, happy place, man. I just, oh, I love Aqib Tlaib. I, I, I love listening to him be a human being. And uh, I, he's, there's a new kid on the block, man. There, Aqib Tlaib is a broadcaster. I hope people keep, you know... Network executives are people I do not trust at all. I mean, they've canceled my favorite shows. They've done all kinds of stuff that drives me nuts. Uh, I've even, I know some of them. I've talked to them. They're, they're a pain in the, the rear. I hate them. They're awful. Uh, and if they fire a keep to leave, it's like canceling my favorite TV show. I'd be so sad. I'd be like, no, bring it back. My new favorite, like little, my favorite broadcast. I mean, like, I, I, look, I love Joel Clyde. I love Tony Romo. They're better in my opinion. No, no knock though. I keep believing it's like this new thing. I'm like, oh, this shiny new car. He's great. He's fun. He's interesting. He's energetic. I please don't get rid of him. He's he's funny. I really like you keep to leave. And I, I really, really, really hope that he keeps broadcasting because, oh my gosh, this guy is, uh, he's a gem. He really, we got, if you watch that Washington uh, Detroit Lions game. You, you got to see something really, really fun and exciting and cool. And I, I'm getting goosebumps. What the heck? I, I really, I had a great time. I, I don't have a man crush on the guy, but oh my gosh, I love his broadcasting style. It's what I'm going to keep going because it's what I've wanted for so long, which is to tone down the stuffy, like perfect <laughs> has to be a certain way. No, no, dude, talk like you're actually a human being. Talk like you're watching a game with your friends. That's what Aqib Talib brought me, and uh, man, I, I can't say enough good things. It was really, really fun.